Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and today we're going to be playing some Mountain Blade Warband. It is day 341 since we've entered the realm of Calradia, and today is episode 52, I believe, and we are having some troubles, guys. This, I think this is one of the first times that we've actually had a siege of one of our castles that's not our own, and it's way far away, so we might not even be able to reach it. This might be the first time ever that we have our castle, we lose a castle, or perhaps the siege goes on without us. Now, I'm really s hopeful that we'll reach there uh, more quickly, and we won't have to worry about the siege going on while we're not there. So let's head over there now. I'll just start heading over there. Hopefully we can get there before it starts. Uh, I'm not really going to be worried about these uh, little towns getting looted, because more importantly, I would rather not lose a castle. So that's going to be the most important thing that I'm going to be looking at right now, is making sure that we do not lose Vinicord Castle here. I don't... I keep missing the me message here. I don't know exactly how many men are spotted near... Uh, venue Court Castle, but it could be a lot. I I didn't see an army there, so that's good. Uh, one of our Tosar is under attack. I just can't do anything about it because of the freaking castles under siege over here. Hopefully, we're either enough to scare them away or enough to kill them all. But oh, I should, probably should have picked up some money. That would have been nice. I'm dumb. Oh well. Hey, you know what? It's okay. We're gonna still save our castle here. That's important. So they're all running away. I, oh wow, that's actually a lot of guys. How many? A significant group of enemies. Okay. Let's see. How many is this actually? 100, 100. It looks like about 500 men. And we've got a garrison of 102. Uh, the Boyar who we get, or sorry, our, our Thane who owns this castle. Uh, it's not actually ours, so he's done a pretty good job of garrisoning it, garrisoning it. And if we just wait here, we'll just wait for them to go and siege. Because once they do that, we'll go ahead and uh, help. Uh, the uh, Vagers are offering us. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. So one of these guys is running out here to us. I wonder if he's going to actually try to engage us or not. Uh, good, we caught him. So we can fight him by himself. That's nice. Um, actually, would he like to join us? Oh, dang it. These guys never want to join us. Oh, well. Surrender or die. I'll just have to kill him. But it's good because we're going to take him out before he's going to have the chance to help in the siege. So, you know, we're just taking him like one more guy away and I forgot to get my sword and shield but it's probably good that I don't have it yet I'm just gonna leave it off right now just because I'd rather have my arrows ready for when we go help out with the siege because that's gonna be more important for me to have my arrows then than now I don't really need them now wow this guy actually has a lot of cavalry it's that this is pretty an impressive amount of cavalry for an enemy lord to have we might not have even fought him before just because of how the staggering amount he has I'm looking for the lord though I don't really see them. Oh well, I'll just try to take out his archers from this hilltop. I don't see his the lord. I, w I wish he'd be more obvious. Oh well, I guess, you know, that's his goal. He probably looks really close to one of these men. Oh wow, that's weird. The guy's doing like a backbend after he died. Oops, I accidentally shot my own troop. Sorry about that, buddy. Maybe we I'm really bad at arrows right now, guys. I'm sorry. It's been just a little bit since I played Mountain Blade. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was a lucky shot. Head shot all the way from over here. Dang. Maybe I can get this guy, too, in the head. I'll aim a little high. Oh, just barely. But Oh, and he bent over. But Oh, sweet, I got him anyway. You cannot hide from me, sir. Okay, get my sweetie in, or my, uh, yeah. My knights and stuff are doing very well. The Haster and my heroes have actually gotten very uh, skilled and adept at fighting, and I didn't even notice. Like I, I just remember like all the fights at the beginning of this Let's Play where they'd all ride in and get knocked out instantly, and then I'd get no training bonus from them, but now they're actually doing very well for themselves. I don't see... Is this the last guy over here? Is there two enemies? I can't tell. It looks like, it looks like there's two knights over here, so we're going to have to deal with that. Um, we'll try to shoot him. I don't want him to kill- yeah, there we go. It was just a man-at-arms, not that big of a deal, and my guys are cheering, so... Yay, we won the battle, guys. Fantastic. Uh, and one- okay, two guys wounded. Damn it, we lost a turn He's our siege master. Um, Rayford, we'll have him, he'll, we'll have him go, because there's a good chance that he'll uh, join us afterwards, you know, since uh, he just lost. Okay, so we're going to gather these items and get out of here. Um, some of our soldiers are ready to upgrade, and we should have enough money to upgrade them to- uh, why did I talk to these guys? Uh, can I see their equipment? Oh wow, you can actually take their stuff? That's cool. Anyway, um, nothing, keep moving. Uh, I just wanted to upgrade them, actually, so. Yeah, we don't have enough money to upgrade them all, I don't think. No. So, that's, but that's fine. We got a bunch more, uh, trained crosswomen, so they'll be more helpful in the siege. 
then nothing. So we'll just wait here. Um, wow, they're actually chasing me now with uh, more men. I could have probably taken them out with my 40 knights, but I don't know. We'll just see what happens with this siege here because I'd rather just, you know, engage them all on the siege. King Halarus's party joined. Oh, dang. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have to fight them to the. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't. Wait, wait, wait. There's something I want to talk to you about in private. How do you feel about King Halarus? Aww. He, no, no, they never want to join us. They always have, are like, have butt love for King Halarus. I don't know why. Oh, well. Oh, wait, he let us go. Sweet. Um, if we just run a little bit further away, we can maybe chase him down. Oh, well. Let's just fight King Halarus right now. Or we could ask him for peace, I guess. King Halarus, um, okay, so he's, he's fighting us, but it's only the other guy that joined us, so it's just like we were a few seconds ago. Um, yeah, we'll fight to you to the end, and we'll charge him. We should be fine, because I have enough knights. And this is actually even better, because they're not taking we're not taking all our stupid archers with us. We don't need them. So that's, that's not even a disadvantage. And we got our hero units out there looking at him with his winged helmet. Ooh, King Halarus, is this you? You gonna die, buddy. That's King Halarus right there. I hopefully, if I can shoot him down, that'd be so awesome. Yes! I killed King Halarus! Oh, and this is the Count here. Let's kill this Count, too. Now, if I can just shoot him a few more times, I should be able to get him. Haha! <laughs> I killed both the Count and the King. That's like a thousand XP right there. Wow. So let's go ahead and kill these little guys. Oop. Hopefully, since I killed the King, usually, I, I don't know, sometimes it just makes me feel lucky that we'll capture him prisoner as well. So that would be nice. It'll be nice and easy for us to, uh, you know, get a super cool ransom from them. And wow, we're, we're really mowing through these guys. I, I don't understand. They think they're so powerful and they've got all these crappy units. Like, what, what were they thinking engaging me? I'll chase down this cavalry man because it could be problematic if he decides to run away. Because, you know, the cavalry are very fast. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. No, they're not fast when they're dead. Oh, wow. We got a, one of our knights was knocked unconscious by a man at arms. That's, that's strange for something like that to happen. But oh well, their morale should be almost shot since I took out both their king and the other count that was with them. I'll just take out... We'll try to shoot these guys in the head here. Oh, dang it. Why, why, my men hit him so I made me miss. Damn it. They're kill-stealing me. I'll try to shoot these uh, peasants. There we go. Yeah, we're getting some nice experience here. Oh, get away. Get away from me. You filth. You peasant filth. Get away from me. How dare you strike at me with your barbaric weapons. Hey, put your shield down. Who said you could hold your shield? That's not fair. I'm the king. You don't get to have a shield. <laughs> Headshot. I'll try to take out their archer here, I guess. He looks like he's pew-pewing at my men. And I don't like it when they pew-pew at my men. There's only these two left, I think. Or I actually hear some more fighting to this side. There, Yeah, there's some more men. Okay, we should... I hope really this is the only battle. I, I'm... I think they only had so like a hundred men. So if we check, we can see. Yeah, there. This is probably going to be the only battle, guys. So that's nice. We took them all out in one fell swoop. I bet you they feel pretty silly for coming off the siege trying to kill us. But uh, we're going to have to be careful because the other people that are sieging right now might come off the siege as well. But you know, if we can engage them, I'm sure that there's not that many because King Alars had like a hundred men. So there's probably only a hundred men left sieging. All right, so we won that battle. Sweet. We lost one Vigor Knight to being, just being wounded. Awesome. And uh, let's see. He managed to escape. Oh, damn it. They both managed. Oh, this guy didn't manage to escape. But I'm going to let him go just so we can keep increasing our relation with him. Because, you know, one day the Swadians are going to be out of business. You know, they're gonna, we're going to take their last castle. And I want him, Count Dorschwall, to come to my kingdom and ask if you can join us. So you got these guys here ready to upgrade still because I didn't have enough money. But... We're just going to go ahead and capture these enemies, and we, we don't really want to take any of these guys on. Did they have anything good? Because it was the king that we killed, so he should have some nice armor, but it doesn't... It looks like I am wrong. Sadly, he does not. He has nothing really that's good. I'll just let my heroes upgrade, and it doesn't even look like they took anything, so I'll just get, gather 12 of these items and get out of here. So how many men are left? About 170? 170 men? With that money that we won, we should be able to upgrade these men good. That's what I was hoping for. Um, we'll just wait here and see what... Okay, good. They all ran like chickens away. Good. Uh, that means that we're going to be able to leave this castle here and we can go deal with the Serenids on our home territory. Uh, the Rodukes are not at war with us, so we don't really have to worry about that. Let's go home. I'm going to go home to Durham, and I'm going to try my best to get a, uh, a peace agreement out of the Vagers. I'm going to send uh, Metheld to go talk to... So, yeah, let's go to Tosar. We can, we can stop them at Tosar if we get there fast enough. Let's go. 
I'll just try my best to get there. Laying waste to Nomar. Okay. Oh, Nomar's right here. We can stop them quickly. If I, if they're even here still. What the heck? Oh, they're there. Yeah, we'll chase him down because he's the closest. Come here, baby. Oh, no. He's running too fast. I'll just let him let him be an idiot. We, we should probably protect our own kingdoms first. Uh, so, Berglin is under attack as well. Uh, we can go there, scare him away. Um, Nomar is again being raided, but we can't really do anything about that. Ah! They offer us peace, just like I wanted. Okay, that's fine. Continue, we'll make peace, and then they'll stop raiding us, hopefully. Is this... Is Toastar still being looted? I forget which one it was being looted by. Um, oh, there's Billy or Bellagrew. I don't know if he's friendly with us or not. Oh, there's two guys here looting it. We'll chase them both down. Toastar... Oh, damn it, they, they managed to loot it. Oh, well. We'll just kill this one count, and then we'll go and kill the other one. Or Actually, these are both uh, Swadians and... The other one is, uh, is this one of the guys that defected from us? I don't remember. Uh, I say this only once. Yeah, and we're definitely going to capture this guy if he, if we get to capture him. We're not going to let him go, no chance. Yeah. So, uh, just a little quick update for you guys. If you're still, if you want, if you're interested, I'm going to tell you a little bit about DX Story. Um, I've been using DX Story for some recordings. Uh, this and Victoria 2, it seems to work very well with. So I'm actually really happy with it. And if you want to talk to me more about my recording software and my process, please uh, send me a private message and I'll definitely go more in depth with you. And I'll, I'm even considering doing a video on it because it's something that I really struggled with in the beginning. So yeah, that's all I'll say about that. Let's get back to killing this, this Count Hollingsworth here. Hopefully I can get him and my stupid knight doesn't steal the kill from me. Yes, sweet, I got it. 520 experience, baby, that's mine. And I can just pew pew these men now. It looks like he has some pretty trash units, nothing really to be afraid of. As well as we outnumbered them, I think it's like at least 3 to 1. Because we, we were able to carry about uh, 111 units now, I think. So that's, that's a pretty sizable force and nothing that should be, you know, laughed at or scoffed at. Because... We can definitely deal out some damage with all these knights. And I mean, honestly, I only need my 40 knights with me. I don't really need any other units. It's just nice to have them, especially at sieges. So we're all chasing this last guy here. I really hope he doesn't get to rout. It looks like he did get to rout, sadly, but uh, we're not going to have to engage him, obviously, because he's just going to run like a little coward back. Ah, you are now my prisoner, buddy. And I'm going to go ahead and capture your militiamen that we wounded. And uh, can I upgrade these two Redukes? Sweet. Okay, did he drop us anything nice? It looks like nothing nice, so I'm just going to go ahead and gather one of these items and get out of here. We'll chase down this, uh, this Amir right here. I believe we already have fought with the Sultan, so... I mean, we didn't get to capture him, sadly. And look, these are all the boyars that were raiding us, so this is definitely going to take the burden off of us. As far as getting our hamlets raided. Ooh! Thane Delinard is going to come help us. Uh, yes, Thane Delinard has joined our side. Uh, he's already got a low reputation, so we're going to capture him if we do get him. And we're going to say charge. Yes, charge the enemy. Damn it. Why is this Thane Delinard giving us his crappy units? I don't understand. Oh, well. Maybe I should give him some knights, because I think if he had some knights, he'd feel he'd be a lot better off. I probably will do that, because it looks like he has absolutely no cavalry since he's riding out there by himself. Why is he so fast? Why wouldn't he stay with us? He's so stupid. Look at that, he got knocked out instantly by one of the skirmishers. And look at them, ooh, they're nice, it's forming a nice pretty line for us to run them all over in. Boom. Get some. Stupid, stupid serenades. Yeah, they're done. There's only 30 of them, we're already mowed through 11. Pretty much instantly we mowed through 11 of their units. I'll take, ooh, this guy's nice and off the pack, got to kill him. Yeah, you know, when you're really dominating the enemy like this, you really don't get any chance to actually kill anything. You you have to just hope that these guys are going to be coming off the... fleeing off the side of the pack or something. Because your knights just go ahead and surround the enemy and slaughter them, so you sometimes don't even get a chance to kill anything. Yay! So, I did actually get to kill a few things that time, so I'm happy about that because I got some experience. Thane Delinard's the only one who got wounded because he doesn't have any knights. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and talk to him and give him some knights. Uh, yeah, we, there's no prisoners captured, so let's check out these items. Did we get anything good? I don't see anything good. It's just like, like trash, more trash. Um, so, hmm. Where's Thane Delinard here? Oh, wow, he only has 20 units. Uh, yes, we fought a great victory. Sweet, yeah, it's whatever. Um, who do you think should receive? Okay, uh, I just wanted to see that. Um, and I'm going to give him some troops. Like I said, I'm going to give him some knights. We'll go ahead and give him... Let's give him 20 knights, because that'll definitely bolster his ranks. 
Uh, we don't really want to give him any archers or anything. That's fine. He should be okay. All right. And we have plenty of knights in Dunham, so we don't have to worry about that. I uh, missed Big My Leaf. Hopefully he likes us a little better, maybe. I don't know. Since we get, we did give him 20 knights, he should be a little bit more happy about it with us. Oh, well. We'll go ahead. Let's manage our garrison here, because I wanted to grab... We need to grab those knights, obviously, that we just gave away. Uh, we have... Yeah, we have like 39 Vagar knights, so we definitely could have... Could spare the knights. That's fine. Um, so, we're going to ride out of Durham here. And we're going to go turn our attention down to the Serenids, because I know they're raiding somewhere. Is that, Okay, we've got three of our villages looted. Tistamesh is not looted, so that's nice. So I think uh, Tosar and Tishtamesh are, one, are the two villages that we actually own. So, And we do own, I think, all the ones around Ravidin and Kuros. So it's nice that they, we stopped fighting because we're not going to be at war with them anymore, obviously. Um, it still makes me mad that we don't have Kundar Castle. Okay, so like I said, let's turn our attention to the south. Uh, Bahastor is leveled up. Sweet. Oh, you know, we should probably return to uh, Denarium and get some monies, because uh, we did waste a lot of money, when, or spend a lot of money, not waste, obviously, but we did spend a lot of money when we were in Denarium, or training those men. I remember that now. Oh, good, we can put another point into leadership for Bastard. He's going to be at level 20 soon, so hopefully every level, I think we have three levels left till 20, so he'll be able to get another point into leadership between now and then, which is going to be good for him, so he'll be able to you know, lead a bunch of men. And once they get to level 20, that's when I'm going to make them lords. So we'll get a, definitely a big influx of lords once we get around, the, once we get these guys to be around level 20. That's just like what I've read online is the best time to make them lords. So please, if you know any better, let me know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put down some of these archers because we do have a lot of, uh, we, we thought we were going to have the help with that siege. So I got a bunch of like perfect archers that can't be trained anymore. So I'm, and, yeah, I'm going to put deck these at crossbowmen as well. I'm just going to grab some fresh recruits off the uh, t top of the rack here. Um, do we have any Nord recruits? Because I do want to train up some more Nords. We do have a lot of Nord warriors. Maybe I'll take them if I, but with these tribesmen, I don't know. I'll take all these tribesmen for now and I'll take some of these Nords, but then we'll take more of these Nords in a second. We want to change to take these footmen definitely. So I'm gonna put back these. The footmen are the lowest, uh, are lower than the warrior. So we definitely want to train the footmen up a little bit more. And um, I don't really see any other recruits up here. So we might want to go and talk to our constable and get some more recruits. I'll take these crosswomen. Uh, yeah, let's go to our castle for a second, and we'll definitely want to talk to constable. Ooh, there's a lord here, I think. Oh no, that's just the lady. Um, no, no, oh, Thane Retrobarth. Yes, sire. Oh, wow, he hates us so much. Why hasn't he defected yet? I don't even understand why he would stay if he hates us that much. Oh, well. Let's talk to our constable here. Uh, recruits and training. I want to get new uh, Nord recruits. We'll go ahead and get 50 more of them. And uh, recruits and training again. Now we can get some Vagars, and I really like their archers, so we'll go ahead and get some of them. And more recruits. I want to get some... We can't get Serenades right now or Swadian, because we're... Oh, Swadian we could probably actually get, because most of our territory is Swadian, but... I don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more. Let's grab some more. Ro no, we already have plenty of Redukes, but, you know, we can always use new, more Redukes to defend our castles, so we'll just grab that many more. Uh, and that should be as many as possible. Oh, no, we can actually send out one more. Um, okay, so I'll probably go ahead and grab some more Redukes. Yes, that's fine. Uh, and that should be it. Yes, we have a maximum of four out, and that's what we have out right now. So, yes, I'll come back later. Now, now we don't text to check our treasury. We're back up to 4,000, so I'll go ahead and withdraw about 20,000 dinars. Just so that we have enough capital to upgrade these units that we want to. Oh, nothing. I just wanted to check the documents. And since we uh, declared peace with the Vagars, we should be f not... I don't need to send any more emissaries out or anything. Uh, let's get out of here, and we'll check our faction report, because I actually want to see... Oh, God, there's no menu. I hate it when it errors like that. Uh, hopefully it's... There we go. Uh, let's check our faction report because I want to see... Yes, we're at war with the Swadians still than the Serenids. Um, the Serenids are not at war with anyone right now. Oh, except for us. Uh, so, and they actually have an alliance with the Swadians, which is probably why they ended up declaring war on us. We might want to go back to our actual castle and, and talk to our wife because she is our uh, chamberlain, I believe. Whatever the one is, or the, the whatever the one is that talks to the other factions, I'll, we'll see what she is. Uh, I think it's minister. We'll talk to her. Uh, yes, chief minister. I want to dispatch a emissary to the Kurjit Kurhante to. 
where's the uh we want to increase our protection or like make a trade agreement or something uh maybe that's with the chancellor we'll talk to him uh i want to send let's talk about domestic policy culture please send me information about the domestic policy uh let's see what's our what's our relationship with the current karate oh oh this is just about them i want to see can we give please send a message to another lord please send a gift and no longer your services no 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 so this seems like we're just actually need to do let's see can we get a as chief minister I wish to dispatch an emissary I wish to there's got to be something to do the trade agreements maybe it's just not been long enough do you have any ideas no okay um let's see uh dispatch an emissary no we already tried that replace myself as Marshall no no um I just don't see it right now so can we persuade a lord let's go ahead and give him where's the uh Dermog castle and I want to tr try to persuade Boyar Duro to come and I'll send Mathelt because I really like Boyar Duro he has a huge party that will help us out um when we're offering a castle like that it might give him more chance to come to our side because when we do talk to him and talk to him about like private matters uh, and if he likes the king or not he always declares that he loves the king so maybe for asking with a castle on the line he will be more sympathetic to our cause anyway uh, I think we've got enough units now we've got enough knights to you know sustain our fighting against the Serenids, and we should be able to find some Serenids, I think if we look hard enough and we should our ooh look at that our budget came in we got 5,000 more dinars we're back up to 30,000 in our treasury we're spending a lot of money on what our what's the most oh whoa, wow we lose a lot of it of dinars from a tax efficiency um but most of our expenses comes from our party and our wages at uh wow at their him yeah yeah that's to be expected so nothing nothing too surprising here i wish we got some more tariffs uh money from from their him but it's sadly we just didn't so we're going to chase down these deserters because they, they've been probably ransacking the pillaging the area and we can just mash them in the face right now. You'll regret ever leaving the army. Yeah, obviously. And uh, here we go. So we got some recruits, fresh recruits in, in the ranks just because of the battle advantage that we have and how many men we're allowed to take. And I forgot my sword. Damn it. Um, yeah, I'll definitely try my hardest to remember. Even though I always say that I'm going to try to remember and I just forget, I will do my best this time to remember. And we can just pew pew the crap out of these guys because none of them seem to have even shields. So let's just pew pew the junk out of them and they can't even stop us from shooting them with arrows. Uh, the only way they can actually stop us is by dodging. And I can just... Wow, I got in a lot. This is a lot of experience too, for free. It's a good idea to take out deserters, guys. Especially even even though you're like really high level and you think you're only good enough to fight like the other kings or whatever, but uh, it's really good to take out all the bandits and stuff because they stop they will harass your villages if you do, if you're not careful. Good, so we won that battle. Uh, got some morale, and we did I believe got get some. Uh, oh, we need food and stuff. We'll go back to Durham for a second, but uh, we did get our food and stuff, so that's nice. Um, or no, we need food. I'm stupid. Anyway. Let's just get out of here. We'll take these items and get out of here. Or leave the items, whatever. Either way, we're going to upgrade some of these guys into Reduke Crossbowmen, which is nice. We need those. Ah, the Swadians! They've seen the light and offer us peace. Accept. That's fine. Um, yes, we gain right to rule. And the Kingdom of Lysandria. Yeah, that's us. Um, okay. So let's head back to him just for a second, and then we can press the Serenids. Now we can just go do whatever the heck we want to the Serenids. So I'm really mad at them. I hate them or whatever. You know, we can go. Let's go take a castle from them if we can. Is there any castles that even border us? No. I don't know how how keen I am on having a castle in that area. But if we check out maybe their capital cities, like their their towns, perhaps we could take one of them. And uh, I'm obviously gonna just check with only my own men. I'm not gonna try to call all my lords yet because I don't really need to. And we could probably take maybe one of these. But you know, these towns down here, especially Bari, gets such low income from tax tariffs because no 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 caravans ever go down all the way here. It's just stupid. Uh, their him obviously gets an amazing amount of tariffs from ta from caravans because they pop around all the time. Um, something I might want to look into is I'm just gonna perhaps defend my town here, and uh, I don't I don't think we're gonna really bother with the Serenids too much except besides defending. So we'll just go ahead and train up our ranks here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and buy some food, and we're gonna prepare ourselves to have a feast because I promised you guys once we got safe, uh, pretty relatively safe, which is what we are now, we're gonna 
start having a feast in Darium and have a tournament and everything. And it's going to be awesome. And there's going to be cake and puppies. And it's going to be awesome. So don't don't worry. Uh, okay, we got rotten pork. So I'm just going to sell that back to the uh, guy here. And I'll buy all of his food. So that's why I'm selling all these items here. Just because we're going to trade for the food anyway. And wow, I'm actually going to get a lot of money. It's probably those horses that get me the most money, honestly. And we're going to buy every single thing of food he's got. Because we can put all this stuff basically in, except for the pork and chicken, we can put into the, uh... Okay, we can put the pork and chicken into the... Sorry, everything but the pork and chicken, because it's going to spoil, will go into the uh, pool of items that we're going to use at the party. So we're going to buy the oil as well. Uh, we have plenty of money, like I said, so but we're going to probably want to go to our Chamberlain and just withdraw all of our money so we, that we don't have to worry about not having it when we need it. So Lady Valka here. We're going to talk to her and ask to see the inventory of our household possessions. We're going to put all this grain and, and stuff in here. We actually have quite a few things already in here, which is nice. We have, I think our oil is good. Uh, we definitely need some spices, though. And spices only come from the Serenade territories, I believe. So we'll check in the uh, Kurhante area, but I don't know exactly if they're going to have anything. But we should have plenty of food now. Uh, and let's go back to the... Uh, we'll speak later, my wife. Uh, let's go back to the marketplace and we shall buy some more food. Just so that we can actually make it to the next place. We'll buy this pork as well. Um, good. So we've, we've you know, stimulated the economy enough. Hey guys, uh, sorry about that. I just had a little bit of an issue. Uh, my frame rate just went like to poo poo, and uh, we, you, I think you missed like just a few minutes. Basically, all I did was buy some food for the, uh, the, you know, the thing that we're gonna have, the feast that we're gonna hold soon, and I also got some money out of the treasury. That's about it. That's all that happened. Um, yeah, so I'll, we can check out our inventory now. We got some chicken, and we're up to fifty thousand in arms in our inventory. But yeah, that's all I really did. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here anyway, guys, so uh, you didn't really miss anything, and I hope you guys join me for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Spray and pray out.